Welcome back to Franchise TV. On this YouTube channel, I'll unbox anything. Probably about a month ago, maybe a little bit less, you saw a unboxing of some Funko Pops from a company called Toy Drops that was selling these Michael Jordan Funko Pop, the Upper Deck exclusive, like All-Star Editions, for only 40 bucks a piece. At that time, these were selling for like 70 to 80 bucks. They dropped them for 40. I think I heard some numbers, they had something like 20,000 of them, and they've had them in stock now for five weeks. So they pretty much Upper Deck, who actually originally sold these, they had a very, very low stock number. Toy Drops got the majority of the stock of these pops, and they sold them for 40 bucks and uh, whatever. So these are authentic. They are authentic. So I went back onto the website, Toy Drops. I bought two more. This time I went and bought two Funko Pops that are vaulted, are no longer made and haven't been made for quite some time. So these two Pops here were released back in 2015 and they were vaulted. I don't know what year they actually got vaulted though. But I got both of these for $70 shipped out the door. I'm looking at Funko App and the combined value of these on the Funko App website is 98 bucks. So they sold these for $70 shipped, almost $30 under what they're actually worth. Vaulted pops haven't been made for years. Are these real? Let's find out. I don't know. And actually, I did a little bit of investigation with this toydrops.com. And my investigation was these actually shipped from a lady named Linda who works for UCC Distributing out of Vista, California. So I say, you know what, let me do a little bit of research on this UCC Distributing, and I'm just on their main website. It says, UCC Distributing is not affiliated with any of these companies. Logos, photos, names are for illustration purposes only. And it says, bring you the hottest licenses and trends in the marketplace. So it looks like they're just an authorized reseller of uh, Funko Pops and other collectibles, like fig pins and stuff. I mean, they have the licenses to, to sell all these, you know, Dragon Ball and Little Pony and Doctor Strange, Street Fighter, you know, Adventure Time, Assassin's Creed. So, looks like Toy Drops is actually owned by the company UCC Distributing. But like I said, this time I bought pops that have already been vaulted. They have not been made for several years, and they're selling these for way under what they're worth. Shipped. So if you take off shipping charge of this, about 10 bucks across the country from California, Indiana, these are like, what, 60 bucks plus shipping. You can kind of round it up or down. So I pay like 30 bucks each for these pops. And they're, and they're worth like almost 100 bucks. So they charge way under what they're actually worth. Take a little look. So yeah, one of my favorite movies of all time, you've got Step Brothers. And I actually wanted to buy these just because I hope someday to get both of the Pops autographed by the two actors, Will Ferrell and... I can never remember his name. But this guy. Let me go ahead and pull out the Brennan. Here we go with the Brennan Huff. They do come in like .50 Pop protectors. Let's take this thing out, take a little closer look at it for both of them. Man, these boxes are mint so actually yeah this pop right here on the bottom of that even has the production date it was made back in 2015 made in july 13th of 2015 so this pop was made over over five years ago now this box is immaculate like i think this thing has been in in the case for the past five years because over time just like wear and tear rubbing and this Window has no scratches on it at all. That is thing is in immaculate condition. So I think this toy drop, somehow, they're getting cases of brand new pops that haven't been made for years. How they're doing it, I, I don't know. Same thing, July 13th, 2015. For that pop. Let me go ahead, let me very carefully remove one of these from the box. Like I said earlier, I do plan on keeping these because I want to get them actually signed 
I mean, that thing is like, this thing never been opened up. That thing is like really tight. Let me see how tight the other one is. Now it has a little more, a little more room to it. Yeah, open these things up carefully. There we go. That popped up much easier. So these things were made five years ago and they've sat in storage somewhere. So here's the actual, the Will Ferrell pop. Brennan Huff. How it looks like there. And it has the date code on the bottom, or like the code FM1293. Everything on it, on the feet, on the bottom of the feet, they always have all the, the codes and stamps for all the Funko stuff. That is one good way to check for authenticity of the pops. But yeah, I mean, this pop, it, it looks good. So I would love to know how this toydrops.com is getting vaulted old Funko Pops and they're selling them way under what they're worth because I could actually resell these right now and make money on them. Pretty crazy how that works out. So I actually, I might go back on the website again. I might buy a few more just because there's not many websites anymore where you can actually get them in this good a shape. I mean, this box, there's not even a scratch on the window because you know over time, a pop that's five years old, it's been moved in and out of these cases you know, a dozen, dozen times, 15, 20 times. And these, they haven't been. So Toy Drops, who is, I guess, owned by UCC Distributing, they're getting cases somehow of brand new Funko Pops that are, that are vaulted and selling them for under what they're worth. So I would love to know how they're getting these because I would love to get my hands on cases of vaulted Funko Pops in like gym mint condition. You make your own decisions on what you think so far. I purchased four pops from toydrops.com. And uh, usually if, if there's counterfeit pops, if you've held them before, the boxes are always a little bit off. The texture of them, the thickness of them are always a little bit off. The font's off on them. The M in movies is a, is a dead giveaway if, if it's a fake pop. The movies checks out. The, the code in the bottom checks out. And the actual pops themselves, if you've ever held like a fake Funko Pop, they feel different, if you know what I mean. They they don't have the same like uh, the same texture, the same just feel of an authentic Funko Pop. If you if you hold a fake one, you you can tell just by your first touch that is not an authentic Funko Pop. That is not a joke. It's easier than what you think to spot fake Funko Pops. Because for years, I was in the sneaker game, which I still am. And uh, through experience, you kind of you kind of learn how to spot fakes. Like when it comes to sneakers, you, you can spot fake sneakers just through years and years of experience. And with collectibles, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, for, when I, for years when I was younger, I used to collect sports cards. And quite a few of the sports cards would be counterfeited. And... There was always telltale signs of certain cards being counterfeit, like the 1986 Fleer Jordan. If you looked, trying to think back how hot it was, you looked at the back of the card on the bottom near the basketball logo. It was like too pixelated, where it came from like an ink from like an inkjet kind of printer. And on the front of the card, if you took it under a magnifying glass, you could actually could see like the current inkjet printers trying to print it correctly. Same way with these Funko Pops. I've seen some fake Funko Pops where the boxes themselves, if you look at the actual coloring of them, the like the pixelation, especially this word pop right here on some of the fakes, it looks pixelated. Because they just didn't get the proper PNG files in order to print like the logos and stuff on the counterfeit boxes. But from looking at these, I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that this toydrops.com is selling authentic Funko Pops for way under what they're worth. How they're doing it, I don't know. Why they're doing it, I don't know. Very strange. This isn't sponsored or anything by toydrops.com. I have no affiliation with them. I just like buying stuff for way under what it's worth and get a good deal, but you always have to be a little bit cautious. You have to err on the side of caution when it comes to stuff like this because you don't want to end up buying fakes and get burned and lose money. Never a good thing. What's your thoughts below? Have you bought from toydrops.com? If you have a difference of opinion, if you think they're actually selling fake pops, comment down below. Let's get an open discussion going. What are your concerns? I don't see any concerns on these four pops from that website. Bought all four pops for way under value. What they're worth. Crazy, right? So 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on this YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything and even do reviews of real versus fake.